In the last one, we managed to get our camera intent working for our photo fragment. And now we're ready to get started with our gallery fragment. But I actually did forget to do something. If we go into our fragment gallery layout here, I forgot to include the toolbar. So we still need to build that toolbar. So let's cl right click on layout, go to new layout resource file. And we're going to create a new snippet. So snippet top gallery toolbar. And we need to build this toolbar. I'm guessing I can probably take one of these other toolbars, uh, account settings toolbar. It's gonna be nah, kind of different than that. Top profile, no. Probably the most similar to that one. So let's copy all of uh, snippet top profile bar. I'm just selecting all, copying, and close a bunch of these. And let's just paste that in here. And so now we're just gonna change this to kind of match our needs. So we're gonna need a X image view right here. We're gonna need a spinner right here for selecting the directory that we're gonna be in. And this image view, uh, actually it's not even gonna be an image view. This is gonna be just a text view. So let's move this image view just to kind of keep the order. We're gonna move that image view there and we're gonna get rid of the align parent right. It's gonna be right at the start. And this text view, uh, it's not gonna be a username. It's actually gonna be a spinner. So let's change this to a spinner and We'll do wrap content, wrap content. And this image view right here is gonna be image view close uh, share. So that's gonna basically close the share activity. And then we can put our spinner to the right of that. So just do that. And obviously this isn't an ellipse. We're gonna want an X. I don't think I have an X. So I'll have to import a new image asset for that. So drawables, new image asset. And extra more tab icons. And this is gonna be uh, I'm gonna call it a black X. And I just select that, go to X, actually probably close. Yeah, so there's the close. And we're gonna change it to black. We've done this a million times, so I'm going pretty quick. And now, so I see X, there we go. And now this far section here, that one's gonna be a text view. So do uh, text view, and the width will be wrap content, wrap content and the text will be next and I should probably add that to strings because I'm trying to trying to add all of them to strings here just to show you guys what you should actually be doing in production for the most part anyway I know some things I don't uh, do like I probably should if it was a production app and let's see margin right let's do 15 dp and text size 20 sp and the text uh, that's what kind of colors do we got? I think we have like a teal color. Uh, teal? Do we have teal? No. Blue? Link blue? Let's do that one. And what else? Uh, center vertical? True. And we need an ID. So text view next. Uh, yeah, that should be good. And so this, this spinner needs a little bit more work here though. Uh, so we need ID, spinner, directory. And we'll do text size, text size. So then let me do act text size. Oh yeah, spinners are weird. You have to actually type it out. Uh, and then text color, I don't think it lets me do that either. Nope, so Android text color equals at color black. And we can put some text in there just to, oh, well, because it doesn't show up. Andrew, I can put some text, like, I could force it, I think. No, nope, it doesn't let me. Well, it will actually show up. It just, uh, for some reason, spinners don't let you type those properties in, and it won't use its auto completion. So, it should, yeah, it should actually, it, I don't think it shows, but it will show up when, when I start the app. So let's go text equals gallery, just as kind of a dummy. And we can do, we already have to the right of, we have, do we have center vertical? So vertical, center vertical, true. And that might be it. Maybe the gravity. Center vertical. Okay. So that looks pretty good. That's pretty much what we want. Now we need to actually add it here. So uh, let's include layout. Uh, that's gallery, snippet top gallery, 
close that. Okay, that's what we want our layout to look like. Cool. Now we can go back to our gallery fragment and we can start setting that up. So let's do the widgets, variables. This is just all the really fun stuff everybody likes to do. Typo variables. Wish they had some kind of an automatic way to do that, like it would read your your uh, layout file or something and then like instantiate all of your widgets. That would just be that'd be great. Cause I hate typing these out. Progress bar and progress bar, and we have a, a private spinner directory spinner, and we're gonna need an array. Ah, uh, we can do that later actually. I think that's good for now. And let's go into uncreate here. So gallery image equals image view. View already dot. Oh, what was it called? Gallery image view. And grid view, grid view, 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 view. I'm ready. Alrighty. Uh, grid view. I think it was grid view. And directory spinner. And oops. Progress bar. Progress bar. View. I'm ready. Alrighty. Dot. Progress bar. And then we do progress and progress bar set visibility view dot gone. Okay, so that is the start of all the widgets. So I can do these uh, those two buttons too. So let's do the image view uh, share close equals image view view find ID R ID dot image close or it's close share or something. Close image view close share, yeah. And share close set on click listener, you want click listener. Closing gallery fragment. And so here we can do get activity and finish. And that will finish that'll and that'll finish share activity. So it will close the therefore close the fragment and take us back to whatever we were doing before. And now the other text to so this other one will be a text view. And it'll be next screen. This is this is gonna be the button that takes us to the screen to kind of finalize our posts. So text view next is called. So next screen set on click listener, on click listener, navigating to the final sh share screen. Okay, and so in here I guess um, we're gonna need to. This, in here we're gonna be required to write a bit of logic too because. Once again, I want to reuse this gallery fragment. I want to, I want to be able to use it if I'm selecting a photo from here, or if I'm selecting, or if I'm selecting a photo from the profile. So if I go to the profile, I go to edit my profile, and I select this, change my photo. I want to also be able to use gallery fragment. So I'm going to have a dialog box pop up, and it's going to ask me, "Do you want to take a photo with the camera?" Or do you want to browse the phone's memory? So if you want to browse the phone's memory, it's going to use gallery fragment. If I want to use the camera, it's going to use photo fragment. So that, that's what I mean by reusability. I want to be able to reuse these two fragments in different situations. So this is going to require some logic inside here. So I'm not going to write anything yet because it's going to depend on where I came from. If I came from the profile and I'm choosing a profile photo, that final screen, I'm not trying to share that photo, I'm just trying to sh set it to my profile. But if I am actually coming from the share screen, then I want to share the photo, I don't want to set it to my profile. So there's two different scenarios there we have to write logic for. So uh, we're not going to get started with that yet. In the next one, we are going to start writing the code for browsing your phone's memory in the gallery fragment. So right away when you open up the fragment, it's going to look like what we had in the test version here. So I click on the share screen it takes you to the and it opens this up you're able to browse your phone's memory you're able to select different photos and the preview will show up in its image view and then we can go to the next screen and actually share it so uh, yeah that'll be it for this video and we'll get started with that in the next one